The Royals are beating the Indians 4-0 in the sixth inning. Brady Singer's got a good game going. He's through five and a third, zero runs allowed, a runner on first and two outs. Angel Hernandez is behind the plate in the game before this, the day before. Angel Hernandez had some real weird calls. I made a breakdown on it. Terry Francona, manager of the Indians, said, I just kind of told Angel, why is it always happening when you're here? Which is a great question that we all know the answer to. So let's see what happens this day while Angel's there. And this one's brought to you by Sports Management Worldwide. If you want a future in the sports world, you got to check them out. All right, let's see what happens. The 2-2 pitch is inside. It hits, it looks like it hits something. Umpire Angel Heron says that hit him in the belly. That hit his jersey. He gets to go to first base. Salvador Press says, no, 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 it hit his bat. You didn't hear that? You didn't hear that, Angel? Now, here you go. Here's the audio. Everyone listen in. I got the sound wave on the bottom and the replay here. Here you go. And then here's the real close slow-mo. Now, obviously, I don't expect an umpire to be able to do this in live time. It's pretty hard. That's why they put replay into the game. So it sounds and looks like it hit the knob of his bat. Did it hit his hand there? Who knows, but it doesn't look like it. Jose Ramirez is like, are you sure? Hey, are you really sending me in the first base? Okay, you are. Yeah, damn right. I got hit by that pitch. What of it? They go to replay, and he calls him safe. These two fans say out, which wasn't an option, but it's okay. So replay does not overturn the call that Angel Heron has made, which I don't know. I mean, definitely didn't hit him in the jersey, like Hernandez said. Now, both those runs come around to score on the next at bat. These guys talk, hey, man, how much have you drank? Uh, more than you, bitch. How much have you drank? Wait, how much have you drank? And there's a pickoff, safe. But Angel Hernandez says he balked. And you know what? He did balk. You can see right there, that twitch. Can't do that. You can't do that. It's a balk. So, I mean, good call, Angel Hernandez. One weird call, one good call. Mike Matheny comes out to argue and said, "What? how can you know? How can you tell? And Angel Heron says, of course I can tell. I got great eyesight. Don't judge me by the face mask I'm wearing. Judge me by my umping. And both of those are really bad. But they have a good conversation. And Matheny goes back to the dugout and seems all good. But then the bench coach or someone in the dugout just keeps yelling. Hernandez throws him out. Now he comes storming out because, you know, they don't know that he balked. They just... If you're going to, like, flip a coin, did Hernandez get it right? Did he get it wrong? It's going to land on wrong more so than right. So they think that Angel Hernandez just messed up two calls, the hit by pitch and the box. So he says, that's two fucking calls, two fucking calls, two fucking calls, two calls. That's what he's yelling over and over and over. And then he leaves and Matheny's like, you know what? You know what, Angel? I actually agree with him. I do think you botched two calls. You do? Well, you're out of here. Let's go. And then the game resumes again. And now that runner who just got balked over, he's going to score. So now the pitcher, Brady Singer's pissed. Fuck. What the fuck are you even doing? Ta-da. I don't know if you made, I don't know. I wonder if that like made sense or he's just yelling gibberish in the moment. Maybe he's like, you know, he gets thrown out. He's like, oh, you get tossed. You're out of here. Fuck. Fuck. Whit Merrifield comes in. God damn it. So now Angel tossed a bunch of people. And look at him. He doesn't even know. He looks like a little kid wearing a, a terribly cheap fake Santa costume or a dental dam. No, never seen a mask like that. And he's just wondering, like, why is everybody so mad at me all the time? It's because you're really bad at your job. And your boss has even admitted it in a lawsuit that you filed against them. Anyway, this one is brought to you by Sports Management Worldwide. Mike Matheny, coach of the Royals. You just saw him in this video. He went to Sports Management Worldwide. He took their eight-week baseball analytics course after being fired from the Cardinals job and then got hired to be the manager of the Royals. They offer a ton of classes if you have any interest in being an agent, a scout, an analyst, a broadcaster, or maybe even someday a manager. Go to smww.com and use the discount code JOMBOY for $50 off the course of your choice. Great deal. I know a lot of people watch these videos and a lot of young kids that love analytics and love this stuff. Great deal. Hit them up.